Everyone else has given England a good kicking. Now it's the players themselves. The coaches really hate each other. It was an immature squad. Some players who couldn't play due to an injury were doing backflips into the swimming pool. For some players, it was more about getting cash and caps. The World Cup in New Zealand had already been a dire episode for English rugby. The drinking exploits involving Mike Tyndall, the dwarf throwing, the sponsorship rows with Lewis Moody and Manu Tuilagi's gum shields. Then Tuilagi decided to leap from a ferry into Auckland Harbour. The point of these confidential reports was to try and understand the whole mess, a chance for the players to be honest. They talk of a dysfunctional and disorganised squad with some greedy players. One team member says a senior player, after the defeat against France in the quarter-final, said, well, there's another £35,000 that's gone down the toilet. Because the quotes are unattributed, everyone in the England setup is implicated. And there's no prouder moment for me as a kid growing up and, and, and watching World Cups and watching England play and seeing the legends that had played in the shirts before than, than putting on a white shirt and running out of Twickenham or running out to play Australia or New Zealand or wherever you're playing. And that's the honour for me. And you know, certain people are going to look at things in different ways, but, but that's just people and, and you can't really change that. The captain, Lewis Moody, who's currently peddling his new book, is accused of being a weak leader. He's hit back saying... I put my body on the line for the lads, the team and England every time I played. And anyone who has watched me play knows that I give everything on the field and have always prioritised rugby ahead of everything else, including financial reward. The fact that the reports have been leaked says something about the chaos and infighting that has beset the RFU. They and the people who have been compiling the reports say they're dismayed that all this has leaked out. It tells you about the moral malaise that's at the heart of the RFU. You know, it's a little bit like the Republicans whinging when Watergate came out. It's the story that matters, not how it's come out. And I think it's for the good of the game that we just see what a mess English rugby is in at the moment. Right through the English game, there's dismay at the example being set by the men who call themselves professionals. From these revelations, I just think it's very disappointing and any young players looking in will think, is this the way to operate? And I think they're probably saying no. There will be other parts of the rugby world who'll be watching this mess at Twickenham with amusement. How it all got out is now being investigated. To many England fans, that isn't really what matters. Tom Parmenter, Sky News, Twickenham.